Let's see if this will last the whole time. I'm gonna keep this out so I can see that it's working. Um, so, when we're trying to find this, um, the, the sigma. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sums of the t's, right? And subtract the mu. The way we found mu was we took the, it was just, mu is just the mean. So we took the sum of the t's and divided it by the number of numbers. So, and for the mu for both Taylor and Manly are the same. So they both ended up being 79 over five. So they both ended up being 15.8. So when we found t minus mu, we were doing nine, nine minus eight squared. Uh, oh, sorry, three minus eight squared. Uh, 12 minus 8 squared, 18 minus 8 squared, 22 minus 8 squared, and 24 minus 8 squared. And then uh, we came up with 288.8 um, after we squared that. So then we take that 288.8, uh, it's actually 0.8, um, and we divided it by 5, and we got the 7.6. Um, so right now we're going to do the, the manly one, uh, kind of live versus just explaining it so, so fast. So again, we're going to take the manly minus the 15.8, so we're going to take 11 minus 15.8. Hit equals and then square it. Hit equals and we get 23.04. So 23.04 for this first one, right? Then we're going to take 16, right? 16 minus 15.8, which we know is 0.2, right? Okay, and then we square it. And we get 0.04. Okay. And then we're going to take 16 again. So what's nice about that is we're going to get 0.04 again. Right? And then we're going to take 17. Right? So 17 minus uh, 15.8. Oops. Minus 15.8. It equals to get 1.2. Then we square it. And we get 1.44. And then we're going to take 19 minus 15.8. And we're going to get 3.2. And then we square it. And that's 10.24, right? And then we're going to find the sum of that. So I'm going to add 10.24 plus 1.4 plus, 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 right? So I'm going to take 10.24 plus the 1.44 plus the 0 0.04 plus the 0 0.04 plus the 23.04. <laughs> it equals, and I get 34.8. I just wanted to check one thing. This one's a lot higher than this one. I just wanted to make sure I used the right number. I think it's correct because 11 is far away. So if I take 11 minus... 15.8 equals, and then I square it. Yeah, it is 23. Okay, good. So these numbers should be right. So now this number is coming over here, and I got 34.8, right? Divided by 5. So I'm going to get 34.8 divided by 5. 
And then, and then I'm going to square root that. And I get approximately 2.6. Okay, so it's 2.638, right? Um, so my 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 population uh, standard deviation is 2.6, much smaller than. Uh, Taylor's, which it should be, right? Um, but let's also take a look at how I did this. Um, I showed you how, obviously, last time when it wasn't on film, but I'm going to show you now on film, and uh, I want to show you that I got um, how I break this down. So I had basically 34, right? Well, let's, let's do it underneath here. So we have 34, and 0.8 would be 8, eight tenths, so that would be 4 fifths, so in 4 fifths, right? Over 5, so basically divided by 5, right? So now I'm going to uh, divide all of this by 5, which means I'm going to multiply by 1 fifth, right? And so, um, and that's all in the square root. Right? So when I take 5 times 34, 34 times 5 equals 170. So I get 174 over 25 square rooted, right? So what that really is is the square root of 174 over 5 because 5 was squared, right? And then I break down 174. So 174, you know, divided by 2 is 85. Okay? Um, will 3 go into it? Well, 8 plus 5 is 13, so 3 won't go into it. So I'll do a 5. So 5 goes into it. Let's see. Uh, 85. Divided by 5 equals 17. So these are all primes, right? So basically that's my lowest uh, that I can go. So I got the square root of 174 over 5. Or the approximation. Give me this approximate sign. Is. Okay, it's 2.6. So that's the difference between a population standard deviation of Manley versus Taylor. So this is Manley and this is Taylor. And hopefully that was pretty good. I think it's recording still. Good, so I can stop. Love that. I get it.